All right, in this video, I'm going to be going over the early sweet pie pumpkin. Uh, first time growing it, and we kind of got the seeds by accident, and I was like, well, might as well go ahead and plant it. I believe I planted two plants. It's starting to die back now. It's ready for harvest. As you can kind of see this vine here to the left, the right's a different variety of pumpkin. There's probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I got 10 pumpkins between two plants. They were kind of crowded together, which is about right as it's listed three to five pumpkins per plant. The name is definitely right. They're definitely on the early side uh, compared to any other winter squash from growing. They were the first ones to be fully ripened. And they're listed at six to seven pounds. Well, I got two to show you. This is the biggest one, which is right at six pounds. Perfectly orange. Great looking pumpkin. Obviously, when you harvest the pumpkin, I just cut this one for this video. You want to, you know, cut it a few inches up. And you want to hold it at the bottom. Try not to hold it by the stem. If you cut right here at the stem, it's more likely to cause the pumpkin to rot. Versus this could actually, I don't know how well the storage will be, but this could probably store pretty well in the right environment. In your house or in a cool area. Definitely not in the 100 degree sun like it is today out here. And But what our plan is, is we're going to roast this in the oven. And I'm going to save the seeds and roast the seeds. But I'm going to roast this and put it through a food processor blender. Make pumpkin puree, roasted pumpkin puree. And freeze it in vacuum seal bags at about two cups per bag. Which is about what a can of pumpkin is. So that is the plan for like pumpkin pies and pumpkin bread, muffins, and all sorts of other pumpkin soups, pumpkin pasta sauces, and so on. It's not recommended to can pumpkin puree. If you do decide to can pumpkin, you can use a pressure canner, and you're supposed to do it in chunks in water, which is not really something I want to store. So I prefer to go ahead and roast this in the oven and puree it and just freeze it and use it that way. I got a smaller one though, I'm gonna show you. This guy's a whopping pound and a half, but he's still perfectly ripe. You know, fully orange in color. Really nice stem on that one. Feels really firm in the hand. Um, I'll show one that's, I can maybe get down in here. I'll show you one that's in a process of still changing colors. It's down here. That one's not fully ripe yet, but it's getting there. And it'll get there probably within the next week or so. Um, I am going to cut the smallest one open for y'all so y'all can kind of see what it looks like inside to see how uh, orange it is. Let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and All right, here we go. That's one half of it. Very nice, rich orange color, which, you know, it is a sweet pie pumpkin. So they're meant, you know, for their flavor for baking versus your jack o' lantern styles tend to be a little more pale and they tend to be a lot more grainy and fibrous versus these tend to be more solid flesh. So that little other half, I kind of cut it oblong here, but, you know, really nice, just really nice orange flesh seeds are reasonably sized I plan to roast these seeds some sea salt i like roasted pumpkin seeds and you can kind of control what's on them when you do them yourself versus buying them in the store and they're really good for it there's a lot of zinc in pumpkin seeds all right but first year growing it kind of bought the seeds back since they're very cheap you can get these seeds at walmart for like two dollars i'll have a link in the description to the actual site i think it's like a burpee product and they're selling like four, four, four dollars, four sixty-five. But there's a lot of like pie pumpkins, sweet pie pumpkins out there, and so the information for varieties is not very good. But this one is classified as an early sweet pie pumpkin, six to seven pounds, and I would say it definitely is early, as it was the first pumpkin, actually first winter squash. I have some skeddy squash plants to my left that are starting to fade away and die now, and they're about ready. There's just a few more days on those will be harvested. I got some butternut. A different type of a, a French pumpkin kind of looks like a cheese wheel it's very ridged it's not quite ready yet so they were the first winter squash of anything to fully ripen the plant did really well even in the area where it's hot here it's humid um, 
you know, I do spray with organic stuff. I don't use chemical pesticides. I use organic ones. We have a really big issue with cucumber beetles. Uh, squash bugs are horrendous in my area, as well as vine borers. It survived all of it its first year, and the climate has not been that great this year either. It started off cool, which was nice, but now we're plus 90 degrees every day with just humidity that is out the, out the wazoo. But anyway, I hope this video helps you. It uh, gives you some information about a particular variety of pumpkin if you just happen to maybe see it on the Walmart shelf. Like, huh, $1.97, why not give that a try? And I know kind of what the size they get, the production of it, and what it looks like inside. Oop, just got hit in the face with a Japanese beetle. Y'all have a good day.